Hey guys, so I wanted to make a uh, quick video for two reasons. I had a free moment and I'm trying to make more videos. Um, so I wanted to make a quick video about first aid kits. It's something simple that you can do and uh, keep for yourself or make for friends and loved ones just to kind of get them in that kind of be ready mindset. Uh, it's really cheap and affordable and I wanted to take you through it. I actually make this kind of kit at work sometimes for my patients when I feel generous and tell them to put it in their bag or their purse or just keep it on their purse just for uh, if they're students or just kind of run around. Especially in an urban setting, it's kind of nice to have a really simple basic first aid kit for little stuff. So there it is. <clears throat> We're gonna go through this. And it all fits within a little kidney, which would all fit within a Ziploc bag. And we'll go through this here real quick. Yeah. We'll just throw that all out there. Where are my floors? Two by twos, band aids, backs of tracings. So we'll go through this right now. So there it is. That's it. You got a handful of four by fours, maybe like four or five, four or five two by twos, handful of uh, band aids. These are really good to have. You should buy a pack of these, keep them in a little like a snack bag, Ziploc, keep them in your pocket. Good to have a handful of the uh, bigger ones. They're just nice for kind of those bigger cuts. Handful of uh, alcohol pads. I mean, they're good for minor cuts. I want to use that in big wounds. It hurts a lot. Um, just a little warm salt water or just uh, regular tap water is better than nothing. Just regular hand soap or a mild uh, antibiotic soap um, water is more than good. Back to Tracen. Uh, some of you carry Neosporin, that's fine. Neosporin's a triple antibiotic. Just remember, uh, triple antibiotic ointments have a tendency to create um, a contact dermatitis or an allergic reaction to people because they have three different antibiotics. Baxitracin is really nice. It's just a straightforward one. Um, unless you're allergic, don't use that one, but you can check at your local uh, pharmacy shop. They'll have these little packets. They're really good. Roll of tape, always good kind of to secure these guys. They're good for minor wounds and stuff. Um... A two inch or three inch elastic band. It's good for sprains. Uh, there's a lot you can do with these. It also works as a compression bandage. So if it's a bad wound, we can put stack all of these and then wrap this and it'll give compression. A little bit of co-band, a one inch co-band. It's stretchy, sticks to himself. You can find it in the uh, the pharmacy. It uh, lets you um, kind of just as a different wrapping instead of tape. Sometimes it's kind of nice on fingers and stuff. Um, this is just a this pair of gloves that I stuck in there. We'll talk about gloves in a second. <clears throat> A uh, two-inch uh, conforming soft roll of gauze. It's really nice. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Great on the hand, or if you want to wrap it in such a way so that it still breathes. Coband is uh, non-vapor permeable, so it wraps moisture. Consider that uh, in your first aid treatment. Gloves. You should be carrying a sandwich bag of these. They're great. You can take two, and then you just kind of roll them up, and you can stick them in a little sandwich bag, and you can probably stack around five in there. Keep those on you. You should always have a pair of gloves. You'll use those more often than not for a lot of things. I just am sticking that one in there just for presentation. But that's it. That's a real simple first aid kit. This all fits within like a half gallon or even a quart size Ziploc bag. You can fit all that in there. If you really, really wanted, you can throw in, I'm using just a suture kit as an example, a pair of scissors and uh, just one small set of tweezers. Those are really easy to pick up, even at the pharmacy. They have little scissors and little tweezers. This is just, uh, I'm just showing because it's a, uh, I'm not promoting Medline or anything specific, but um, it's just, it's a suture there, a suture removal kit carries tweezers and scissors. So that'd be something else to keep in there. And with that, you can cut those to size, not the elastic band and, and or the tape. The tape usually tears by hand. Something else to consider would be, um, Carrying a couple ibuprofen, uh, that's Motrin, so Motrin, Advil, that's all ibuprofen, uh, usually comes in 200 milligram tablets, usually carrying about like 5 to 10 of those is more than sufficient. Um, I would carry that, Tylenol, which is uh, a good uh, anti-emetic, not anti-emetic, it's a good anti-fibrile um, and a pain reliever, uh, got 500 extra strength, uh, 1000 milligrams, so two 500 tablets. Just remember, do not take more than 3,000 milligrams in 24 hours. That's bad for your liver. So if you're using Tylenol, always alternate between Tylenol and ibuprofen. Uh, Benadryl is always a really nice one to have in there. Just generic, over-the-counter uh, diphenhydramine. Uh, if you want to grab Genero brand, Genero brands work fine. They're chemical compounds. You don't need brand name. Uh, but the Benadryl comes in 25 uh, milligram tablets or capsules. 
and usually about four to six of those is fine. You never want to take more than 50 milligrams per hour. More than that will make you just really drowsy, but it's good just for allergic reactions. Other than that, you don't need much else. Um, they have those wet wipes that are really nice for your hands to wash off. You can pick those up at Buffalo Wild Wings or a store or whatever. Or, and then they have wound wipes, which are usually, I recommend the saline, just straight saline wipes. It's just a, like a napkin soaked in uh, saline, which is just kind of like salty water to clean off wounds, and that's more than sufficient. But take a look. It's not that bad. You can uh, probably get all those supplies for less than 50 bucks. Make them for your friends. Put them in Ziplocs. Give them, give them to your kids. It's good for them. Um, yeah, always have a first aid kit. Always keep some gloves on you. And uh, yeah, it's a great way to just kind of get people started in that. So that's the video. Leave some comments if you have any questions about how to use some of that stuff or any comments, concerns, curly criticisms, whatever. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm just in scrubs. I do this. So there you go. Have a good one, guys.